Today on Hook the Future, we're catching hogfish and everything else that swims on the reef out of Tarpon Springs, Florida. Don't go anywhere, guys. We got a great episode for you today. Hook the Future is presented by Carolina Skiff and Sea Chaser, family, fishing, and fun. Tarpon Springs, Florida, a bustling town on the west coast of Florida just north of Tampa. Famous for its commercial sponge diving, it also harbors a very strong and close-knit fishing community. Our anglers Kennedy and Coco both come from local families who are the heart of this community. Fishing is in their blood. They can't wait to get out there. My longtime friend, Captain Pat Bennett, is going to put us on the fish and share a few surprises with us today. He's been fishing here as long as I can remember, and he knows where the fish are and what it takes to catch them. Man, it's going to be a great day. Awesome job. This way. Perfect, perfect. It's a nice fish. Pulling back, pulling back. Got the grunts going. Getting started. Got to wade through the grunts to get the uh, the hogfish. It's always going to be some grunts around. See, kind of the same mouth as a hogfish, huh? That's big dog. All right, slimy five. Getting started. When I found out I was going to be on TV, I felt awesome because I could brag that I was on a TV show. Keep them tight. Good job. Good job. Oh, a sheephead. When I found out I was going to be on TV, I got super nervous because I feel like I would mess up. Here he is. Nicely done. Whoa, got the sheephead. Oh Let's talk about him for a minute. There we go. Man, he wasn't going nowhere, huh? Like I said, we're catching all kind of stuff today while we're out here targeting hogfish. There we go, trocar jig. Nice job, look at that. Sheephead, sheephead feed down like this. They feed upside down like this and they'll come up kind of like a hogfish, but they suck the bait in and try to spit it out real fast. So if you don't get them quick, you miss them. You did an awesome job with that fish, huh? Pretty sheephead. Nice. Let's let him go. Catch another one. All right, let's get another slimy five. Nice job. You girls fish, don't you? Mm -hmm. You can tell. I'm gonna let you in on a secret that I shouldn't tell you. You know why girls are better fishermen than guys? Why? Because when the fish gets beside the boat, all the guys go, look at it, look at it. Well, it's our first hogfish. Back up, back up. Keep reeling that a little bit more. Oh, that's what we want right there. What a pretty fish that is, huh? The coolest thing about living in Tarpon Springs is that you can just hop on your boat and go out to Anclote or something and go fishing in many spots where you can catch a bunch of fish. Awesome fish, huh? Mm -hmm. Look how they look, huh? Isn't that a cool fish where it's got that big fin on his dorsal? Yeah. And look how big his mouth is right here. Look how it comes out. See how, whoop. Watch how his lip comes out. See that? Yeah. That's cool. That is cool. And they'll grab that shrimp and pick up the jig like that and just step right off of it. They love to hang around sea fans. That one's a little bit short. We're going to let this guy go. Nice job, though. Slam five. We'll have to tag one of these guys. You want to tag one in a little while? We'll do that. We'll let this guy go and tag the next one. What a beautiful fish. You want to let him go? Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We'll see you, Mr. Hogfish. There he goes. Nice, he's done. One more slimy five. Good job. All right, great job. Here he comes, just nice and slow. You all right? Yeah. All right. It's a good fish. Wonder what we got, wonder what we got. Hold him back this way. Not quite as high with the pole, little short pumps now. Awesome. Oh, back up, it's what we want, it's a hogfish, don't reel anymore. Whoa, look at that guy, huh? When it came up to the surface, it got, it was like really bright red and you could kind of see it farther than any other fish you would catch. That, when you're at that point, you could see it better. Um, 
Nice. We got them. That's what we want right there. I'm gonna set the rod down and talk about them a minute. What a pretty fish, huh? Yeah. Check them out. I like it. Have you ever caught a hogfish before? That's a pretty fish, huh? Yeah. Man, they're so hard to catch. It's hard, it's fun, you know, like we dive a lot and shoot hogfish a lot when we're diving, you know, a lot of people spear fish and, and get the hogfish, but not as many people fish for them. Um, definitely a technique. Nice fish. You want to tag him? Let's tag him. Let's measure him and see what we got. Let's see. When I was reeling in the hogfish, it pulled more downward than it did outward or into the, to the boat. He is right at 13 inches with his tail pinched. You want to grab that tag stick right there? And we'll, we'll put a tag in him right here. There we go. So that's through Gray's fish tag research. Next time somebody catches that, they'll let you know where he swam and where he went. Come back here and sit with me again one more time. Let's get a picture. Nice job. Won't miss that tag, huh? Yeah. Let's see where he swims. Maybe somebody will catch him again when he's all grown up and figure out where this guy went to. Tell us a story, fishy. Nice job, mister. Is he gonna swim away? He's gonna eat our jig again. There he goes. He was kind of looking at it. <laughs> Slimy five, well done. We'll be right back catching some more hogfish off of Tarpon Springs, Florida when Hook the Future returns. Hook the Future is brought to you by Eagle Claw, where great fishing begins. By Suzuki, the ultimate outboard motor. By Salt Life Sport Optics, the finest performance lenses in the world. By Calcutta, hard-working fishing and coastal gear. And by Carolina Skiff, anything is possible. When you come out fishing, you want to make sure that you target something, you'll be a lot more successful. You'll still catch other fish as a bycatch, um, but you'll be a lot more successful if you target a species. Like we're targeting the hogfish, but we've already caught a gag grouper and a little mangrove and grunts. We're going to catch some good stuff. Nice job. Let's let him go and catch another one. See you, mister. Rocks. Great job. Great job. Whoa. When you're helping a kid fight a big fish, all you have to do is hold the back of the rod. It's hard to keep the rod from spinning somehow, sometimes with their hands, you know, especially when it's covered in slime. She's like, tell me about it. You're doing great. Whoa. Nicely done. Keep him coming, keep him coming. So all I'm doing is just kind of keeping the rod straight while she works it. She's catching them. She's doing it all. That's a nice little gag, I think. Whoa. What we got? Whoa. Check him out. Reel one more time. Pull him back this way. Oh, and I'll get him. I like to catch grouper and redfish the most because redfish is like an inshore where you can just do it, like go out on the boat and catch them. And then grouper, sometimes it's like a fun little adventure to find where they are in certain spots and everything. Man, Whoa. check him out, huh? That nibble on my rod, I knew immediately that it was a grouper. So I tried reeling it. And eventually, it got to the boat, but it took a little effort. Nicely done. So using this trocar box jig and tipping it with a shrimp, and trying to get the hogfish. Got this nice little gag grouper, huh? What a nice fish, huh? Wow. Wow, have you ever caught one of those? No. Man, he pulls hard, don't he, for his size, they really pull hard. You wanna hold his tail right there and I'll hold his head? And look right there and give him a thumbs up. All right. And these girls can fish. You fish a lot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Want to see if we can tag this guy and let him go? Sure. Let's do that. Let's take a measurement real quick. I like fishing with my family because it like helps us have family time where we don't have to stress about doing anything except for fishing, which is very calming sometimes. And it just like relaxes everyone instead of getting all the stress from everything else. We're going to put this great fish tag in him right here. So the next time somebody catches him, we'll see where he goes. You can name him too. You got a name in mind? So what, who does he look like? Do you, Ted? He looks like a Ted. Does that look like a Ted? 
Ted the gag grouper will be swimming out here waiting for somebody else to catch him. We'll see you, Ted. Whoa, Ted didn't take long. <laughs> Slimy five, well done. Man, what an awesome time, having so much fun. Let's do it again. Nice job. Trying to hold the pole that way. Awesome job, Coco. Yeah. I didn't even know it. I know half your family, huh? Yeah. Reel up, reel a little bit more. Awesome job, another sheep bed. Here, back up this way. Back up this way. There we go. We got him. Nice. Hard to catch the sheep head again. See the teeth right there? That's why they call them a sheep head. They got a face and sheep like teeth like a sheep. Pretty cool, huh? My favorite person to fish with in my family is my dad because he helps me a lot if I catch a really big fish that I can't um, reel up. Or if I could fall in, he'll help me. Look at that thing, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And see all those teeth in them? Mm -hmm. Is that crazy? You don't want to get your finger in there, huh? Yeah. That's a nice fish. Sheep had a really good eating, too. We're going to let this one go. Slimy five. Awesome job. All right, here he goes. See you, Mr. Sheepy. Man, it didn't take him long. Great job. Ready to catch another one? Yeah. Having some fun? Me, too. Let's do it again. You got him. Keep him coming up. There you go, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Another gag. I got him. That fish pulled so hard, it kept trying to go back down to the bottom. And it was huge compared to all the other fish. I love my Calcutta tools, from the pliers, the knives, everything that Calcutta has. Makes boating and fishing easier. Man, he wasn't going nowhere. Nice fish though, huh? Let's let him go. See you, mister. Woo! Didn't take him long. Nicely done. You got that one off the bottom. He didn't get in the rocks, did he? He's wanting to go back down to the bottom. Nice and slow coming up. Slower, slower, slower. On the transition, you don't want to bounce them. Sometimes that hook will spin out and pop off. Yeah. She's like, I know, Captain Don, I know. Man, he's not wanting to come up here, is he? But he is. Whoa, master grunt. Whoa, no, little back up. Little mangrove. Can you get the line? Whoa, there we go. That's a good mangrove there. And talk about a tasty fish. These are really good, huh? Yeah, they're my favorite. They're your favorite? Yeah. Best part of, about living in Tarpon Springs is there's a lot of spots you can go fishing. Basically, my whole house is surrounded with water, so we can go out on our dock and fish whenever you want. So I know where you want to take him tonight, right? Where you want to take him to eat? Rusty Bellies. Rusty Bellies. That's everybody's favorite place to eat in Tarpon Springs, right? Mm -hmm. Freshest fish around. We're going to keep him for later. Nice job. Dinner time. I like it. Thanks. Man, if you haven't checked out the new line of sea chasers, you need to do it today. I love my new sea chaser 30 HFC. Plenty of fishability. Look at all the room I got in here. Good ride, dry ride. Plenty of power with two 300 Suzuki's on here. I can run as fast as I want, wherever I want. Plenty of range. Check them out today, seachaser.com. Good job, good job. That's the way to get them out of there. Great job. Man, this fish is pulling hard. And it's what we want. It's a hogfish. Really? Yeah. Don't reel anymore, walk backwards. Whoa, oh, there we go. Woo, that's what we want right there. Yeah, man. Come here, give me a slimy five. Way to go. What a cool looking fish, huh? Isn't that awesome? Come over here with me. Just set the pole down real quick. Isn't that nice? Man, what a beautiful fish, huh? Let's see if we can get him to open his mouth here. Of course not. He's not gonna. Anyway, you wanna let him go for me? Here, you, want, you can just hold him underneath like that. You don't have any. Oh, oh. Quick release. <laughs> Slimy vibe. 
You were like, just jump now so I don't have to mess with him, right? Yeah. I don't know, but that worked out good. Good job. Stay tuned, because when Hook the Future returns, I'm going to catch a big hogfish. Hook the Future is brought to you by Andy, the line of champions. By Salt Life, live life unanchored. By Fishing Nasara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. By Float On Boat Trailers, there's only one real float on. And by Sea Chaser, family, fishing, and fun. Gotta have an Easy Rider Marine Bean Bag. I'm telling you, they're the smoothest, best ride on the water. It doesn't matter your body size or type, it's gonna mold to you. I'm telling you, I love these things. It's one of the best products on my boat. It lasts forever. You just gotta have them. You got them in all shapes and sizes. EasyRider.com, get you one today, and you may as well get two because you're not gonna get one for yourself if you got somebody on the boat with you. They're gonna take the bag. You gotta have one. You got them? Yeah. Good job. So is your family on part of the restaurant we eat out here? Yeah. Man, I love that place. Whoa, yeah. look at you. Back up for me. Don't reel anymore. Whoa. Big old grunt right there. Hear him grunting? That's why they call him Grunt. Okay. That's crazy, isn't it? That's a good one right there. Grunts. Ready to let him go? Yeah. Okay, here he goes. So under the boat. So under the boat. Give me a slimy five. Nice job. You girls can fish, man. Y'all been wearing me out. Nice. That's what we want right there. Whoop, don't reel anymore. Walk backwards. Oh, yeah. That's the one we want right there, man. Look at that guy. What a different creature when they get a little bigger, huh? My mom's going to be so excited when I come home with that big hogfish because her favorite fish is hogfish. And she told me, please try and catch one because she really loves them. Got the trocar box jig, got them perfect. Here, let's lay that rod down right there. Check him out. What a beautiful fish that is, huh? Look how he's so dark in the nose right there. That's definitely a male there. Look at that. You can see why they call him a hogfish now, huh? Kind of looks like a hog in the front. And the way their jaw comes out is really cool. We're gonna change it up and make a few stops on the way home to see what treasures we can find. Let's see what we got in here. It's, I think it's pretty good. I saw some legs hanging out. Oh, wow, look at all those crabs. <laughs> Is that crazy? How many's in there? Um, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight crabs, eight. nice. You guys want to help me get the claws off, the legal sized ones? Sure. You think you can? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's try to do it and not get pinched. All right, you don't want to get pinched. So the way you pick up these crabs is if you grab the back leg right here, mm -hmm. they can't really get you. You're grabbing them from behind. When we stopped and pulled up stone crab traps, it was really heavy because of all the crabs in it. But once I um, pulled it up over the boat, it was super easy to crack off their claws and hold them where you could do it without them pinching you. This is the best way to hold a crab with your thumbs in the interior. He cannot get me if I keep my thumbs inside there, okay? So to take the claw, we grip it a certain way, and we make one swift motion. That's a jumbo stone crab right there. Yep, you got it. Teamwork. There you go, get it in. All right, you want to get one in there, Coco? Sure. Go ahead, thumbs in, thumbs in. Go ahead, remember I showed you? Yep, I'm gonna help you a little bit. That's awesome. perfect, that's a perfect break. That crab's gonna live. He's very happy about that. that. 
you girls have fun today? Yeah. What an awesome time fishing with my buddy Pat Bennett from Easy Rider, putting us on everything that swims on the reef out here. It was like reef class all over today. Take a kid fishing and do your part to hook the future. Bring them over here to Tarpon Springs and check it out. It's a lot of fun. Big thanks to my longtime friend, Captain Pat Bennett, for taking the time to share his knowledge with us today. Pat gets it. He knows the importance of spending time with young anglers on the water. Like he said, great anglers don't just happen, they learn when they're young. Someone needs to show them. Thanks to anglers like Pat, I believe the next generation of fishermen are gonna be just fine. Coco and Kennedy were awesome today. Man, these girls can fish. They made the trip so much fun, their excitement for fishing was infectious. These girls love being on the water, having fun, and catching fish, and they are very good at it. Where Tarpon Springs meets the sea, Rusty Belly's waterfront grill embraces and embodies them both. You can't find a better spot to enjoy this town than what the fishermen here catch. It's a laid-back, family-owned eatery where every plate is fresh and delicious, caught by local fishermen who are most likely sitting just a few tables down from you. To find out how you and your family can take the same trip as you've seen on today's show and what's going on behind the scenes, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. If you want us to share your fishing photos, use the hashtag Slimy5.